Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to create this isometric grid and draw simple 3D shapes on it. Let's open a new document and zoom out. Next click on the Line Segment tool, hold and select the Rectangular Grid tool. Double click on it to open the dialog box. Change the horizontal and vertical dividers to the same number. The higher the number, the more grid cells you will have. I'm going to set mine to 20. Now click on the artboard, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to constrain it. Switch to the selection tool, hover over one of the corners and drag it down. Hold down the shift key to rotate it by 45 degrees. Then either go to Object, Transform and select Scale or press the S key on your keyboard and then hit Enter. Set the scale to Non-Uniform and the vertical value to 57.74%. Click OK. Let's reposition it over the artboard. Finally, go to View, Guides and choose Make Guides. Let's zoom out. If you wish, you can give this layer a name. Now create a new layer. Then either press the letter P for the pen tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Swap the fill and the stroke. Make sure your smart guides are on and you are ready to draw simple shapes. Be sure to click on an intersection and not a guideline. Let's create a 3D cube. First draw a triangle. Next copy it. Just click, hold and drag until the right side of the triangle touches the next intersecting point. Now rotate it by 180 degrees. Let's apply a different color to this side. Next copy this triangle and move it up to create the right side wall of our cube. Now do the same with the other side. To create the top part, copy both bottom triangles at once. Next we'll apply different colors to each side. I will use the eyedropper tool. If you would like to learn more about the eyedropper tool and how to use it, please check out my other tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. Select this part, then switch to the eyedropper tool and click on it to get a color sample. Then holding down the Alt key, click on this part to apply the same color. And again, select this part, get a color sample and apply to this part. Then apply a different color to the top. Now you can copy and paste this cube, resize it or create a row of cubes. Let's create a pyramid shape. Copy the bottom part of this cube and apply different colors to it. Now using the direct selection tool, select both top anchor points and drag them up. You can create a bigger pyramid and stack cubes on top of each other. Next I will show you how to create a cylinder. First let's copy this cube. Select both triangles from one side and unite them using the Pathfinder tool. Now do the same with the other sides. Select the top part, then go to Effect, Stylize and choose Round Corners. Set the radius to a higher number to get an oval. 
Now repeat the same steps with the other two sides. Select the top oval and move it. Before we can work with this shape, we need to expand it. Go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Make a copy directly above the existing one. Next create a rectangle. Select the bottom oval and the rectangle and apply a different color. Now select the top oval, change its color and bring it to the front. Let's copy this cylinder. Now select the other oval shape, expand its appearance, place it over the cylinder and bring it to the front. Adjust the size so both shapes are aligned. Now select all three shapes, go to the Shape Builder tool, delete unwanted parts, and connect the other ones together. To hide the grid, press the Ctrl and semicolon keys on your keyboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.